Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and rumors. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the rumors about the Chicago Bulls possibly making a trade or a move. Also, a rival GM talking about the Bulls potentially blowing up this team. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and helps me out a lot. And leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the articles and rumors I'm about to jump into so let's just jump right into it because these past few bulls games have been really rough to watch i mean i am recording this video before the bulls versus magic game but nonetheless even if the bulls do lose or win versus the magic the start of this season has been really rough especially these past five to six games and i think it's obvious something's wrong inside this locker room or something's wrong with billy donovan who knows what's going on i saw will purdue was talking on one of the bulls post game shows and he played in the nba for about 10 seasons he knows when something's wrong and something's going on and i trust him and i believe him and the bulls to start this season have just been really ugly and it's just been a mess the effort has been a mess there's been a lot of billy donovan hate also recently there's been a lot of talk about the bulls changing up the starting lineup and i do believe those some of those moves might help but at the end of the day the bulls front office cannot be happy i mean they decided to run this roster back knowing how ugly this team did play last season without lonzo ball and after the all-star break and these past few bulls games have really reminded me of last year past the all-star break it's just been ugly basketball low effort slow starts just very ugly basketball in my eyes the bulls need to make a move or a trade they need to do something now before i talk about this definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video what you guys think the bulls need to do to fix this ugly start to this season if that's a lineup change signing a free agent cutting someone or making a trade but nonetheless a huge shout out to Chicago Bulls talk on Twitter. He did put out this tweet saying that the Chicago Bulls will officially be eligible to sign one player to a minimum contract without exceeding the luxury tax after the Spurs game tomorrow. You know, this is a few weeks old and Chicago Bulls talk did continue and he did say he expects the Bulls will at least cut one player sometime throughout this season, maybe be in that Marco or Tony Bradley and replace them with a productive player. And let me just first off say this is a big deal because the Bulls were obviously too cheap this past offseason to go over the luxury tax. Now, I highly doubt they do cut Marco because he's still a project. I wish Billy Donovan would give him some minutes at the end of blowout games, but that's a topic for another video. I am down for cutting Tony Bradley. He's just not a really good backup center. Andre Drummond is much better. And like I did say to start this video, the Bulls need to make a move or do something in my eyes. Now, I know a lot of Bulls fans and the Bulls have been kind of linked to Jay Crowder for the past few weeks or months now i mean there was some rumors that just came out just the other day about how the suns were close to finalizing a three-team trade involving jay crowder you know his whole situation with the suns is a bit odd he hasn't played all season long i mean at the end of the day i believe jay crowder would be a, a great addition to this roster honestly if he'd be starting over patrick williams or coming off the bench i mean jay crowder is 32 years old like i did say he hasn't played all season long but last year for the suns he was just very solid and i feel like he just brings that dog and veteran presence that this bulls locker room is missing I mean, last year for the Suns, he did play 67 games and he played 28 minutes a night. In those minutes, he did average 9 points per game, shooting 40% from the field, 35% from 3-point range, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and almost 1 block per game. He's just a very active, good 3 and D type veteran that would fit amazing on this roster. And say the Bulls do decide to cut someone and make a move, another free agent target that I can't believe is still a free agent is Carmelo Anthony. I know a lot of Bulls fans have been begging the Bulls to sign him as well and an article did come out from bleacher report not too long ago listing landing spots for mellow and the Chicago Bulls were the second best fit for him. And I think it's obvious this Bulls team needs more three-point shooting. And I know this is going to be crazy to hear, but the Bulls defense has surprisingly been better and ranked better than the Bulls offense, which blows my mind. The offense of DeMar, Zach, and Vooch, it just hasn't been pretty to start this season. I mean, last season, the Bulls finished 29th in the NBA and three-pointers. And to start this season, it's not good. Also, I mean, obviously, without Lonzo, it doesn't help. Melo's always been 
been a good three-point shooter same with jay crowder i can't believe Melo's a free agent definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video if you guys believe the bulls need to make a trade or a move or just some starting lineup changes i'd be down in an instant to cut tony bradley and try and trade for jay crowder or sign carmelo anthony or another just three-point shooting free agent on the market leave some comments and questions below today's video about that rumor and after that topic, I'm just going to continue to talk about the Bulls' slow start in this season. I know a lot of Bulls fans are really upset and just disappointed, and this article did come out just the other day from Heavy.com, and a rival GM was talking about the Bulls potentially blowing up this roster. As of right now, I don't believe the Bulls are in panic mode, but that can change quickly. A lot of things can change and happen very fast in the NBA. I mean, obviously, the Bulls' front office deciding to really just only sign Drummond and Drogic. Don't get me wrong. Both of them have been good pickups and helped out this Bulls team, but I believe the Bulls front office needed to do more in this past offseason, and to start this season, I think it proves that. I mean, I love Lonzo Ball. I think he'll help a lot of problems and help this team win more games, but I think Bulls fans tend to forget Lonzo Ball hasn't played basketball in almost a year or two now. It's going to take him time to rehab, get back in game shape, just learn the game, you know, learn how to play with these guys again. It's going to take some time, just like the whole Zach Levine situation. He's not 100% still. And with all that being said, and the Bulls' slow start into this NBA season, one has to wonder whether it might be time for Chicago to move some of its top guys and burn back some assets as part of a little reboot or rebuild. And speaking to HeavySports.com, Sean Devy, one Eastern Conference GM, did talk about this whole situation, and he did doubt that the Bulls would ever consider going down that road at this point in the NBA season. But like I did say, a lot of things can change, and a lot can happen in the NBA. NBA fast. Now the GM did say, I don't think they will take that approach. They are committed to seeing what this team can do if it is all whole together healthy, which it has not been ever since they brought everyone together last year. And I do agree, but at some point you just can't keep waiting. I mean, the start of this season has been ugly. Billy Donovan is getting a lot of hate and thrown under the bus already. Zach Levine's whole knee situation and who truly knows when Lonzo is going to come back. And even if he can come back this season, Vooch is a free agent this is a final year in kobe white's contract io's contract javante green's contract you just can't keep waiting for this team to get healthy i really hope the bulls front office sees this and makes a move and i still can't forget this i mean just to start this past off season the bulls front office came out and said they need to add rim protection and three-point shooting and like i did say Drogic, he's a good three-point shooter drummond or good backup center but they really don't help three-point shooting and rim protection i don't know in my eyes this bulls front office can't be happy with the results and games that they're watching and seeing they need to do something and i hope that something comes quick because i honestly don't just see this bulls team being able to turn this around i don't know i don't know what to say i don't know how to fix these problems maybe just a simple starting lineup change i don't know thank you guys for all the love on the channel in the past few videos i really do appreciate it thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one